So it's never too late to start from now. There's still more ahead of us because there's still more things going to come up and there's still going to be more open up. There's still going to be new normal, more normal. It's going to be more seasons that open up more and more. So I just encourage you guys right now to actually take the action. Take that action to enlarge yourself. So when things becoming bigger and you're seeing bigger season again in your life, that you already well prepped for it and you know how to handle those season in your life. Because during this lockdown, during this preparation season, during the time when God is dealing with you, God is preparing, God is stretching you, you have been equipped so that the next season of your life you can handle whatever that's gonna come your way. You're not gonna be knocked out. Even if you get knocked out, you're gonna get back up. Up. Even if you're gonna get breakdown, you're gonna have a breakthrough, amen. So just believe that right now, church, because I really believe that this season is just a preparing season, preparation moment for you guys. And don't get knocked out, don't don't give up yet. There's still better things ahead. If you feel overwhelmed right now, if you feel overdosed with whatever you're doing right now, then you just say, Lord, I need your grace, I need your favor in my life. The burden that I'm carrying, it's not going to be long because I know that you're going to help me to carry through all the season. Their reputation, their success, their achievement, it's belong to them. Don't think that, oh, I'll just chip in. I'll just chip into next purpose of life. That doesn't work. You know, he's going to earn the reputation in heaven because he's worked for it. But I have to be responsible to God that give me the calling, the purpose, the gift that I have to maximize my time, my moment, my life, my purpose to be used by God to multiply the things that He has given into my life. I cannot be dependent on His achievement and His reputation and His success. I have to take ownership of my own life and start taking action and being responsible and what God trusted you to do. Maybe right now you have the storms in your life and it's actually too much and too overwhelmed and you just feel like, I cannot handle these storms anymore. But when you soak yourself and you engulf yourself in the presence of God, you know that He's going to give you the strength to carry on, to walk through it because you cannot do it by yourself because God will help you to walk through it. If you cannot walk even, God will carry you through this season and God will take you through this storm. If only you know how to depend on His presence and not on your own will, not on your own opinion, not on your own strength because your will will your strength your opinion your whatever that you're thinking can fail you can discourage you even people that you expect the most the closest people in your world can hurt you the people that you you look up to can also hurt you can also discourage you only god that never fails you so you learn to really just so you know soak into his presence and and I just love it. If you, if you know how to really learn, be mature and to soak into His presence. How hungry are you for, for Him to talk to you, to actually direct your path, to lead you into a better life, to enlarge you? Because if you're not being intentional in your search and you're hungry, you don't stir up your passion towards His presence. Then when you get knocked out, when you hit the storms, you will have no strength. You won't be able to carry on because... You don't know what to do. But if you soak yourself in the presence of God, if you actually um, engulf yourself in the presence of God, when you don't know what to do, God will give you the answers. When you have no answers, He will give you the direction. When you feel like this is enough, that God will say to you, I am the God that is more than enough. When you think this is impossible, God will tell you all things are possible because if you believe, if you trust Him, if you lean on Him and He will open up the way for you when there is no way. When the storms hit you, you're not going to just get knocked out but you get knocked out but you're going to rise up stronger. You're going to actually you're going to multiply that strength and you're going to expand your muscles because you know that in the, in the presence of God there's something that He's working inside of you and He's doing something inside of you and sometimes you feel like God is talking and rebuking me about something and just change. Just change and just grow from it. This is a new time, a new season, a, a new beginning again. So God's going to raise people up that God sees the heart. God sees the one that's been preparing themselves for this season. Are you the one that you have been preparing yourself for this season? Or are you the one that's been sitting around and lay back?
bed and just say that Lord I'm just happy to be in my comfort zone I'm happy to have my weekend back I haven't had my weekend for some time now I taste and see what not how good the Lord is but you're gonna say I taste and see how good the weekend is I'm gonna keep it this way Lord fine just fine <laughs> let me say just fine with you or without you God's house gonna still be glorified with you or without you God can raise someone else if you're not willing no one's gonna push you anymore it's a maturing season now guys honestly um I know it's 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 a it's a hard word tonight. It's a maturing season. No one's gonna push you again and again for serving God. We're gonna encourage you guys, but we're not gonna force you. No one's gonna pick yourself up unless you pick yourself up. No one's gonna run for you unless you run for yourself. No one's gonna chase the presence of God until you chase your own your own hunger and stir up the passion for God. I can't do it for you. Pastor Nick can't do it for you. No one can do it for you apart from yourself. So be the one that right now, Lord, I want you to use me whenever, whatever. I'm going to give my life away. I'm going to give it all to you, whatever I can do. Right now, train me again. Pick myself up again. Get me into that routine again. Get me into the better me again. Don't think that last time I was serving God this way, this way, this way. So now I'm going to serve like that way. No, do it a new way. Enlarge yourself. Do it better. Do it bigger. And actually just... Just be obedient to God. I don't want to see you guys come out of this. And when we open up, when we gather together, I don't want to see you guys falling through and get knocked down. I want to see more new people being, you know, serving in the ministry and serving and having a heart because they know how painful and how how sad it is when you actually want to serve, but there's nothing to do. So those people that have been serving in an inventory, those people that have been serving in catering team, those people serving in the kids ministry, those people serving in praise and worship team, every area that you have been serving in decoration, VE, anything like that, I'm pretty sure right now you're watching here, probably you're feeling, oh, I'm in tears right now because I haven't been doing that. That's because I remind you right now, then you get the memory. And the remembrance of how beautiful it is when I can serve God, give God what I've got. Be the one, this is the key word, be the one that God is looking for and God says faithful. And God says you've been the one been preparing yourself. You are the one that been uh, chasing towards, towards my presence. You are the one that been preparing your muscles towards something bigger. You are the one that been preparing yourself to become a better vessel. Be that one that God is looking for tonight. If you haven't been doing that, you haven't been preparing yourself for that right now. give it all to God I'm sure you can give yourself away to God tonight
my life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. So tonight, that's a challenge for all of us here. It's no one's perfect. We're all still learning. We're learning to give God our best. We're learning to give God what we have. But I hope that this really challenges you tonight. Really, really challenges you. Are you gonna be the one? Are you gonna be the one that take that step, be intentional to be used by God? Are you gonna be the one that God is actually looking for because you're so hungry and passionate about the things of God and His things and His house matters more than your own selfish, self-centered ego or your own self-pleasure because a lot of us we like to do what we want to do and like we preached a few weeks ago we want to do things that we enjoy and we want to we want to just stay out of that um, stretching moment but we learn to give it all to God because we know when we give it all to God He can use us and your life will be in a much better situation because when your life is in God's hands, He's in control. And He takes responsibility of your life. When your life is in your hands, you're, you're holding your own responsibility there. So just write down again three things that you really want. Lord, from tonight, this really challenged me. That I don't want to be the same again. I want to enter this season. I want to get into this season coming up. And better and stronger and more hungry, more passionate than ever before. I don't want to say like I want to just lazing around anymore. I don't want to just lay back anymore. I don't want to be somebody that just become one of the part of the crowd. But I want to be the one. Be the one when you are here and I'm the one that's going to run towards you and say, Lord, use me. Here I am, Lord. I'm giving it all to you. I'm not going to be the one that say, oh, use the other person. But I want to be the one that say, Lord, here, everything that I've got, everything that I have. Just use it and use it. If you can't do that, I really believe you. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared about what God's going to do through your life. Because whatever that He's going to do through your life, He's going to equip you for it. He's going to give you the strength to do it. He's going to take you through every journey, every morning moment so that you can be used amazingly for His glory. I give it all to you. I give my life to you. Yielding my thoughts, all of my dreams, I lay them down. A willing sacrifice, my willing offering. All I am, holy yours, I give it all. Oh yes, I give it all to you. I give my life to you. Yielding my thoughts, all of my dreams, I lay them down. A living sacrifice, my willing offering. Oh,
every time, like Pastor Grace just shared, every time we can get into His presence and just worship Him and learn how to hang out in His presence, there is an impartation. Things happen in that place. You know, sometimes we can feel like, what's, what am I doing this for? What, what's actually happening in me? Change, change in these moments is like a pot, piece of pottery on the potter's wheel. It's, it's changing every single revolution just a little bit. And over time, and you continue to apply that potter's tool to the clay, it just continues to mold. And eventually, you'll turn a shape, a shapeless piece of clay into a beautiful vessel. And that's what God's doing on the inside of you. Corinthians tells us that as we gaze upon His glory, we have been transformed from glory to glory into His image. Like a mirror beholding who He is, experiencing Him, knowing who He is, and being transformed into His likeness, into the character, the nature of Jesus Christ. I'm believing, church, that all the things that you have been holding on to, you know, you you ended this pandemic with these issues, they are breaking off your life, breaking off you. You know, like scales falling off uh, of the outside. You know, a reptile, they they shed their skin, right? They leave it behind. Tonight, I'm believing that that's what you and I are doing in this season. We are leaving our old behind and we're stepping into the new. This is the shedding of the old fur, uh, of the old kind of, you know, who we are, so that we can pick up the new and experience the grace of God that is in the days ahead. New wine for new wine skins, new Amen. anointing, new Amen. glory, new power, new breakthrough. We are, like Grace said, we are entering into a new season as a church, but we're going to come into it with a brand new spirit. Amen. A brand new spirit. You know what that means? It means new passion, new joy, new hunger, new in Jesus' name, new. Hallelujah. Boys, rise up in Jesus' name. Rise up. There's a man of God on the inside of you. There's a man of life. There's a man of power, a man of wisdom, a man of breakthrough. There's a leader that's sitting there on the inside of you, dormant, ready to come out. And you're going to stand up and you're going to rise up and be the man of God you're called to be in Jesus' name. And ladies, oh my gosh, ladies, you guys were called to serve in the house of God too. And you're going to be that woman that God's destined you to be, the one that can serve, support, Amen. the one that can stand alongside, the one that can, yes. can minister with power and authority, the one that's not sitting there like kind of like I'm waiting for everything to happen. No, you in the name of Jesus They're are carrying be your the calling, one. Amen. your mission, Amen. your commission given by God. There's a mighty man and a mighty woman of God on the inside of you. There are preachers out there in Jesus' name. There are business people out there tonight in Jesus' name. There are people who are going to rise up in this world, in their workforces, and out there in the the community, in the marketplace, and are going to shine for the Lord Jesus Christ because of a new spirit. Caleb had a spirit on the inside of him that all of Israel didn't have. Joshua had a spirit on the inside of him that not all all the Israelites had. And they stood out and they shone for God. That's tonight what we're stepping into. Be intentional about it. Be intentional about it. Don't wait for it to happen. Don't sit back going, God, I'm just sitting here. I prophesy over you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. It's in you. Amen. Rise up, child of God. Rise up. Rise up. Because the days aren't far ahead. When those bones are being, you know, in fact, it's happening already right now. Those bones that were once dead are being brought to life again. The sinew, the flesh, the muscles, it's stirring up. It's reviving again. You might have been dead, but God brings you back to life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.